at Dynamic Discs, we do our best to make sure your favorite player's Tour Series disc is in a special plastic. But it's not always easy to tell if your Tour Series disc will fly differently from the one you've been throwing. And in my last video, I said, the most reliable way I've found to determine the flight differences between two of the same disc in different plastics without throwing them is to measure the parting line around the outer rim. And in this video, we're gonna put that to the test. We collected a bunch of Tour Series discs, and we're going to see how they fly compared to the discs we know and love. And most of the Tour Series discs featured in this video are currently discounted at dynamicdiscs.com if you see one you like. Starting with the Justice. The Lucid Justice is a staple in so many players' bags for good reason. It's the most reliably overstable disc you can find. And this year we came out with the Justice in Lucid Ice Plastic. These Lucid Ice Justices ended up being a bit more overstable than the Lucid Plastic 2. We also came out with Lucid Air Justices as a Pro Worlds fundraiser. These are lighter weights but still have plenty of Justice in them. It's an interesting thing throwing a disc that's so light but still so overstable. The Culprit is a brand new overstable approach disc from Dynamic Discs this year, and I've been loving mine in the hybrid plastic. But how does it compare to the Lucid X Culprit? The Lucid X plastic is designed to be very stiff and it's almost always more overstable than Lucid plastic. And these Lucid X Culprits are no exception. A very similar flight to the hybrid, but just a little stronger fade at the end and it seemed like it would hold up to a little more headwind too. The Suspect is a mold that we retired a couple of years ago, but this year we made a special run of Lucid Chameleon Suspects for our tour team. We also came out with some Hybrid X Suspects last year, and while these flights look very similar on the overhead, the Hybrid X definitely felt more high speed stable and faded sooner. Fans of Westside Discs have been asking for more premium plastic maidens for a while now, and this year we delivered. We released the Tournament X Maiden, and here we're comparing it to a VIP Maiden. The Maiden is a super reliable straight flying putter with a little flip to flat and a super gentle fade. I expected the Tournament X to fly more overstable, but they flew surprisingly similar. But with the stiffness and durability of the Tournament X, the Maiden throwers I know are more than satisfied with this option. So many players love their super straight and glidey flight from their Mavericks. It's so at home carving super straight lines in the woods, and in the Fusion X Burst plastic, it has just a little more stability so it can handle a touch more power without losing that control. The Vandal is a faster, understable fairway driver that big arms can roll, but I've seen so many people hyzer flip this disc in the woods and control it like they had it on a string. In the Lucid Plastic, it flips up and works right before finishing straight, and in the Fusion X Plastic, it flies surprisingly similar. In this comparison, the release angle for the Fusion X looks like less of a hyzer to me, which is why it worked so much farther to the right. But regardless of plastic, the Vandal is perfect for woods players looking for a disc they can really manipulate. The Sargent is a very controllable, surprisingly straight driver. It flies like a much longer evader to me. In fusion plastic, it will flip to flat, hold straight, and not finish as hard as you might think. That's why personally, I love this disc for forehands. In fusion X plastic, this disc is much more overstable. It reminds me of a faster felon, but with gentler fade. I don't think it comes across as well in this comparison because it was thrown lower, but in general, it will hold the angle at the beginning of its flight, even with good power. It's definitely a reliable disc for the wind as well. Up next is the king of overstable fairway drivers, the felon. First, the Fusion Orbit Felon came out this year with a surprisingly glidey flight, but still reliable fade at the end. And we also have Fusion X Felons that are more high speed stable, so they'll resist turn and fade harder at the end. But I find they do carry just a little bit farther than I'd expect from a disc with that stability. We also have Hybrid X Felons, and those fit perfectly into the reliable utility disc slot. They're very flat and very overstable to stand up to any wind and always execute the shot when you need it the most. The Lucid Getaway is an incredible fairway driver known for its glide and controllable flight. And this year we released Hybrid X Getaways, and these are much more overstable. They will hold the angle out of your hand and carve a reliable hyzer. Getaways in general have a lot more glide than people expect though, so this disc can really be a workhorse driver when you need to keep it in the fairways. The Evader is a reliable fairway driver that will do pretty much whatever you ask it to with exceptional precision. In Lucid Plastic, it will flip to flat if you really power up on it, but mostly it just holds very straight with a gentle finish. Then at the beginning of the year, we came out with these Lucid Evaders with the Saki Bomb stamp on them, and these are much domier and they have a lot more stability. The dome adds glide and the extra stability makes it perfect for big hyzers. And around the time for Texas States, we released these Fusion Burst Evaders, and as far as I can remember, it's the only Fusion Evaders we've released. These are very similar to the Lucid, but will hold straighter for just a little bit longer. And speaking of Fusion Plastic, we started making discs in Fusion Orbit Plastic this year. This is the same as Fusion Plastic, but with this colored effect around the outer edge. 
So here's the Fusion Orbit Escape with a super controlled hyzer flip, flex to the right, and gentle finish. We also released these Fusion Orbit Enforcers, and I made a flight line for how those fly too. They have a good bit of dome, and the plastic feels really good too. The Raider is a workhorse driver for a lot of players. In lucid plastic, with a little hyzer, it will flip up to flat and carry a long way before a reliable fade. We also came out with Lucid X Chameleon Raiders last year, and these are much more overstable. The Lucid X was thrown flat, and it flew pretty much the same line as the Lucid did on hyzer. It has the high speed stability, and the dome gives it really good glide. We see kind of a similar story from the Trespass. We have it here first in Lucid Plastic, a dead straight flight for Eric McCabe here, but for most of us, the Trespass is a controllable, accessible workhorse distance driver. And here in the Lucid X Moonshine Plastic, it has just a bit more stability. To me, how a Trespass flies in no wind, the Lucid X Moonshine Trespass will fly with wind. So it's perfect to fill the top end for those cycling the Trespass as their go-to distance drivers. Moving over to west side for a bit, the Sword fits in the west side lineup pretty close to where the Trespass sits in dynamic discs. In VIP plastic, it's a controllable distance driver with a ton of glide, and in this comparison, the VIP X was thrown a good bit flatter than the VIP, and that made it work right more. But you can really see that extra stability with how much it fades at the end of the flight. Also from west side, the Adder is their latest distance driver designed to be a workhorse for those with the arm for it. It will hold a hyzer, but carry a good long ways before a strong fade. And we also released Tournament X adders that are a bit unique. These are incredibly domey and very overstable. They like to skip a lot, and they almost fill that trick shot overstable driver slot. And those are all the discs I was able to track down and compare for this project. But most of the discs from this video, and many more, are discounted right now at dynamicdiscs.com if you want to check for yourself. Shout out to Eric McCabe for throwing the 30 something discs needed for this video. And let me know in the comments if there's any discs you wanna see me test. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe for more content on how to become a better disc golfer. We'll see you next time.